Mary Juliet, to congratulate the first Nepali woman journalist, Everest Expedition Team 2018, who scaled Mount Everest under the banner of the Federation of Nepali Journalists with the slogan, Unified Voice for Equity. May I take this privilege to invite Ms. Julian in the podium to give her congratulatory remarks. Well, good afternoon, first of all, to these uh, brave women and to all of you. I must say, when uh, I met Rosha the first time, it was really uh, a coincidence. She had written to me already, but I was having a meeting with an NGO in, uh, in Patan, and then she spotted me <laughs> there because she was stopping next to the place. And uh, I must say, when I discussed briefly with Rosha at that moment, and I said, yeah, well, of course, we've received your request, and we are considering it. But I must say, I was very impressed by the energy that came out of you at that moment. That sense that it was something that was going to happen. There was no doubt in none of your demeanor, the way you were presenting it. And for me, when I came back, I just told my team, I said, well, I met Rosha, and uh, yeah, I think we, we have to support them somewhat, in a way or another. But then when we celebrated your departure, it was at the same time with a, with a very heavy heart, because we know it's, it's hard and it's dangerous to climb Everest. So we were at the same time a little bit worried, because we didn't know you know, how it would turn out. And it's always the same when there is the Everest, the Everest season. We never know. And we read in the press that the mountain is claiming many lives. So I would say definitely there was a sense of excitement that you were going and that uh, you had that wonderful idea to, to carry the flag of the SDG uh, on top of Mount Everest. But we, at the same time, we, were, we had that worry that the risk are there and that we could not uh, underestimate them. But we are happy because now you're back. You're, and you're not only safe and sound, but you're also successful. And this is wonderful, because many, many, people, many people may come back and sometimes don't manage, but you came back complete, whole, and successful. And this in itself is really an achievement. And I can only imagine, <clears throat> although I think I can't, nobody can really imagine how tough it might have been and what it requires. Actually, you were, you were citing uh, Hilary on the fact that the, con the, con the conquest is on oneself, first and foremost. But at the same time, it needs physical and mental strength. And I'm sure that this is definitely the element that you displayed, this mental and physical strength. But it takes also something else when you have women doing something. It takes self-confidence. It takes the fact that, as women, you have to believe twice in yourself, because Half of the population usually doesn't believe in them because of the existing discrimination that exists. And I know that the men in this room know what I, know what I mean, although, although I hope that some of you are not like this. But it's true that for women to conquer something, they have to believe in themselves even more so. Because I'm sure that a number of people, although you, you didn't discuss that with me, but I'm sure that a number of people might have thought, huh, you will never make it, and so on and so forth. Uh, let alone because you're a woman, uh, and so on and so forth. So I must say, that is wonderful. Because not only you have conquered Everest, you have conquered yourself, but you have conquered also the skepticism of a number of people. You have conquered these stereotypes that exist and that very often limit women in what they can do. You have conquered a mentality that usually places women at a lower level, and not only in Nepal, sadly everywhere around the world. And for that, I think that your success is wonderful. Because it's not only a sport event. You didn't only display, as I say, the, the physical and the mental strength. But what you've done is actually, it goes beyond conquering Everest. You took the flag of SDG, so it means that your message of sustainable development was loud and clear, and that the highest peak it can be. But you had the message of also gender equality and that in itself is important. So for all these reasons, I want to thank you and to really congratulate you, because what you've done, as I say, go beyond the physical effort. And it serves very well the agenda that consists in pushing girls and women to believe in themselves, in knowing that they can overcome the difficulties. Of course, usually what, makes, what keeps women below, it's not so much that they don't believe in themselves, it's that the whole society keeps them at a lower position. But then now you've proven that 
one can do it. So you made it. At all level, you made it. And that's really, really, really fantastic. Now, the SDG flag symbolizes sustainable development. It symbolizes leaving no one behind. It symbolizes gender equality, climate change, all these issues that are so important. And you have brought them there. And we can be proud here in Nepal as the UN team, because no other UN team will do that, have a similar event. <laughs> we are the only UN team that can have such an event, because there is only one highest summit in the world, and this is in Nepal. So we know that on that, we've, beat, we've beaten all our, our other colleagues. We are, the, we are the first one to do that. So I must say, I, I want to say that I'm very, very, very happy to be here. And that's why when I heard that we were going to do this event, I really insisted that they waited for my return. Because I, I wanted, also as a woman RC, to be here and tell you that we are very, very proud of you. But I think that what the message that you give is that message beyond the gender component. Is that in order to achieve something so extraordinary, it means that you have to go out of your uh, zone of comfort. And actually, this is a message that is important for the SDGs as well. Because countries will not achieve the SDGs if they don't go out of their zone of comfort. If they continue to do the same thing and, and the, the same way, then we're not going to achieve. And the SDGs is really this issue of human rights, this issue of leaving no one behind, this issue that everybody is entitled to development. And therefore, the countries have to work towards this uh, uh, situation. I think also you incarnate not only the women and the girls, but you also incarnate the young people. And in Nepal there are so many young people. So it means that all the doors there are possible for you young people. You did it, many young people can do it. And everybody has his, has his, has his or her own Everest. It might not be a mountain of 8,000 uh, meters. It might be an objective that one has in life. It might be achieving studies. It might be getting a job. It might be whatever, but we all have our Everest to, uh, to, uh, to climb, and it's important that we believe in that. So at the same time, what you gave us is also that message that everything is possible, and we have to believe that everything is possible. So to, to, con to conclude, I would like to say that as journalists, you are very well placed to tell your story and to tell it from all these different angles uh, that I mentioned and many more that are yours. Um, but I must say, we know that as journalists, you can do that. But you are more than journalists now, because through what you've done, you have become ambassadors. You have become ambassadors of the Sustainable Development Goals. You have become ambassadors of this idea that development is possible and no one should be left behind. And for that reason, I must say, I really want to thank you and say that what you just achieved was fantastic. So thank you very much, and I'm eagerly waiting for to hear, to hear your story and uh, I'm happy that some colleagues have joined us on that occasion because this is really an event we are happy to have partnered with you and I must say you give us hope that in Nepal there are no borders, there are no barriers and people can go forward. So thank you, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much Ms. Julian. We all